Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Friends, brothers, sisters, comrades. I'm here for a very simple reason. I was told that there was this talk on education and uh, Manish Sisodia and Atishi Marlena would be speaking. And I decided to come primarily because what they've achieved is something that our constitution of India stands for. It is so simple. They did it. Why wasn't it done before? It's a question that needs to be asked. It's so simple. It was done. Then why wasn't it done earlier? The reason I think we were in this state of affairs is because I remember I went to an incredibly elite school in the city of Mumbai. Today when I pass it, I look the other way. I don't look at my school because I know I was privileged and I know people around me did not have that opportunity. And as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't make me more intelligent than them. They just didn't have the opportunity. And that's the truth about our country. So with these thoughts in my mind, when I started making films, I decided to start a school with some very close friends of mine, you know, scientists and doctors and lawyers and filmmakers and painters and musicians. I said, let's start a school in Mumbai, which will be the best school in India. It has to be the best it is like an idea for young radicals like me. It will be the best school in India. And what we had in mind was the only condition being any family that earned more than a thousand rupees a month, their children would not be allowed. It was very clearly directed for the underprivileged and the disenfranchised. It's because of my earlier experience with education. What is education really all about? You know, this entire talk is about the future of India through education. What is the future of India? Does anybody really know what, where we are heading? Because we talk about mob lynching. It's happening. That's also a kind of education. Do you want that? For the future of India? Because they are educated. The fact remains that they are educated. But what kind of education is that? What kind of education is that that doesn't allow any kind of dialogue, any kind of debate, any kind of discussion? But they clamp down on you and say, shut up. We are right and we are always right. No doubts. They're so absolutely sure of themselves that they have the truth on their side. Very frightening. It's very, very frightening. And that's also education. And therefore, I sincerely say this from the bottom of my heart and I ask perhaps questions later to Manish when he expounds further as to how they, they achieved what they achieved. It is to say that education has to be democratic in its soul. It has to be not a a relationship of a teacher and students there, it has to be a dialogue and a communication between two self-respecting individuals. And that's a great education then. And you give them that dignity, the children, and watch them soar. And what I gather, this is exactly what's happened with uh, the students of Delhi public schools. I'm, I wish, I wish uh, my driver's children or my show were, were, they were in Delhi right. I wish I could have, they were there to partake of this incredible event that's occurring. It's like a beacon. It's like a beacon that all of us must celebrate to say, well done. Well done because this country needs it desperately. We are so blinkered. 
there's so much hate, there's so much anger, there's so much venom. How do you shake it off? And the only way to do it is to have a democratic education which says, stand by the Constitution of India. And if your education stands by the Constitution of India, you can't go wrong. It is the fundamental right of every child in this country to get a decent education which is integral to his or her life. Thank you, Manish, for doing what you did. And I'm so glad I came here just in support. Thank you so much.